Hey guys, it's Mr. Jacket Triple Zero here. Back with Automation, the Car Company Tycoon game in the most powerful engine series, we're going to be building the most powerful inline 3 engine as of right now. What's quite interesting with the inline 3 is that they're quite fragile when you try to max out the stroke. So it won't be a 1 to 1 or square bore and stroke engine, but it hasn't stopped me from pushing its limits. So right now, I'm going to show you how I've managed to get over 1400 horsepower in this tiny engine. So first of all, bring the year up to 2020 to get the most performance, reliability, and everything about this engine. And of course, it's going to be an inline 3. You can make it at any block material you want, but we're going to be using magnesium. Even though it'll be costly, but who cares? For the bore, you max this out by 120 millimeters, but for the stroke, set it to 98.4 millimeters, which gets it to 3,339 cubic centimeters, or a little bit over 3.3 liters. And we're going to be using dual overhead cam 5 valves made out of whatever. Let's do aluminum silicone. And you know the drill with the crank, cam rods, and pistons? Crank gonna be made out of built steel, cam rods at lightweight titanium, and pistons at regular forged. And we're not gonna be using lightweight forged, you probably know. If you were to use lightweight forged, as you can see by the graph, it's not that great in holding up in torque. Like, if you be using this, then the engine would blow up at around like seven, eight hundred foot pounds of torque with this type of engine. And as always, bring the quality up to plus 15 for every single selection with the engine. For the compression, we gotta raise this up to a somewhat of a above normal 10.4 to 1 ratio with the cam profile set all the way up, almost all the way up to a 97 right here. And it's gotta have VVT at all cams. For the turbocharger, of course, gotta be one of ball bearings with the intercooler set to 2,090 horsepower right here. Hopefully I'm not gonna say RPM I could do last time or did last time. The compressor is set at 90.5 millimeters, turbine at 73 millimeters, 73 even, AR ratio at 1.4, and the max boost at 43.2 PSI. You can go a little bit more, but like, it would be at 43.5.4. This is pretty much useless at these mar at these regions right here. So you can put them right there, but 43.2 is good enough. For the fuel system, you know the drill. Direct injection, throttle per cylinder race and take, running an ultimate fuel with the fuel mixture set all the way up to a 10.0. And the ignition timing, jump it up slightly to a 54, and the RPM limit set to 8400 RPM. For the exhaust, our only option is a short cast single exhaust with the exhaust diameter set to 184 millimeters, which is 7.25 inches. So you can max it out, but you'll lose like maybe like a tenth of the torque, but no matter what, you're still going to get this high amount of horsepower, which I'm going to show you right here once I get rid of cattle converters, the mufflers, and up the quality. Bring this down a little so we get the horsepower rating of 1,424.1 horsepower at 8,400 RPM. Torque at 932.3 foot-pounds of torque at 7,500 RPM. And for the engine, the Conrad's pistons and crank, we got a buttload of reliability issues because of the high RPM. And it's got no knocking whatsoever, even though it's got 6.9 reliability. Oh, that's nice. So right now, I'm gonna give you what the engine sounds like. First, we're gonna do an automatic test and then play around with it in manual while cycling through every single graph on here and then just rip the engine apart once the graphs are all done. So right now, start the automatic test of this engine right here.
I don't think you can fit this in a Geo Metro or any other hybrid or wannabe hybrid with <laughs> this type of engine. So that'll do it with Automation the Car Company Tycoon game with this powerful inline 3 engine. So this is a start with the inline engines. It's quite interesting how I couldn't max out the stroke of this engine. If I could max it out somehow without breaking the engine, this would have been a 1600 horsepower engine easily. In the next videos of this mini-series, I'm going to continue with the inline engines with the i4, 5, and 6, and then carry on with the V engines except for the V16. That'll happen sometime in the future when the time comes. So this has been Mr. Jack and Triple Zero. I'll see you in the next video.